Hey everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. I am so excited to take you along today because we are going to a yarn store. I'm so pumped because it has been, I don't know, seven months or so since I've been to a yarn store. The last like yarny activity I did with other people that wasn't on Zoom was I got to go to a retreat with my friend Rebecca. We went to the Hill Country Weavers um, Knitting in the Hills retreat and I did a vlog on that and then we came back and everything shut down. So we're so excited to get to go to the yarn store today. I'm actually meeting my friend Brooke and we are going to, this is just the beginning of our day. We're gonna have a fun like girls day today, um, but we're going to McKinney Knittery, one of our local DFW area shops. It's an incredible shop if you're ever anywhere near Dallas or McKinney in Texas, you should go. It's just, it's the best. So we're gonna go there today and it just happens to be the yarn crawl. So it's gonna be even more like fun because there's vendors and like, I don't know. I know Suburban Stitcher is there, Diane. So I'm really, really excited. Um, So I'm about to, I'm in my car. I'm about to go drive to my friend's house, about 30 minutes to my friend's house. Then we've got another about half hour to get to McKinney Knittery. So it's a drive. <laughs> don't live close to it. Wish we lived closer, but it is so worth it. Um, so I have my snacks. I have some water, some coffee. I brought um, a reusable bag. This is from the yarn crawl last year so that I can put my yarn in it. But goal for today is to get yarn for the Stephen West, uh, West Knits MCAL, the slip stravagant, slip stitch stravaganza slip extravagant. I don't know how you say it. Um, but I'm going to be looking for yarn for that specifically. So that's, that's my goal for today. I think, I think Brooke's getting yarn for a sweater, but I'll show you. And there's a good chance that Rebecca will be there too. So we will, we'll see who we can get into the video, but I'll show you things from the yarn store and all of that. Oh, and I checked my stash this morning before I left to see if there was any yarns that I wanted to include in the five skein shawl. It's a two skeins of the main color, three contrast colors. And so I was looking to see if there was any contrast colors I'd want to include. And I didn't really see anything. I was hoping for something semi-solid and I just don't have a lot of that in my stash. So I'm looking to buy five skeins of yarn today for this giant shawl and I'm super excited. So let's turn this car on and head to Dallas. Trying to get away from this life I'm living Same old things every day Wanna change this feeling Wasting no more time Don't care about what you say All right, we're here at the yarn store. We're so excited. Okay, so let's talk about what we're looking for today. So what are you getting today? I am going to buy five skeins of fingering yarn so that I can do the West Knits MCAL. And I'm also going to buy three more skeins of fingering weight yarn so I can make another lounging top for someone for Christmas. Ooh, that's a hoagie pattern, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I'm also looking for my West Knits yarn. So we're going to show you, well, first of all, we can show a little bit how cute like everything is around here, but then some clips of the yarn store, they just moved into a new spot and we'll show you the yarn. And then later on, we're going to show you what we ended up getting. So, yes. all right, see you in a second. See you there. I've been dreaming all night, bringing me some inspiration. Never meant to love no one, but baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't wanna waste no time without you ever brightening up my days. Never meant to fall so hard. We are super spoiled to have such an incredible yarn store within an hour of us. This is McKinney Knittery in McKinney, Texas, which is just north of Dallas. And I will drive an hour to go to this yarn store. I used to go once a month just to meet my friends and knit. Just this summer, they moved into this beautiful new location. It is huge it is open it is so light and bright and it really shows off the yarn really well it also allowed them to add fabric to their store and they have tons of it as you can see here mm, trying to keep my focus right 
Every glimpse of you deserts me. You're all I think about sometimes. But baby, I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way. Don't wanna waste no time without you ever brightening up my days. This specific weekend was the yarn crawl, and so Suburban Stitcher had come up from outside of Houston and had a trunk show. I was really attracted to this one colorway that I had not seen yet in person. It is called Sugar, and you might just see it later on. <laughs> Now that you've seen the store, let's start picking out some yarn. This was Brooke's first choice for the Wet Snits MCAL. We both went through several choices, so I will show them to you here. Here's the start of my first choice, and I just had to kind of carry it around with me. You know, sometimes you just have to carry your yarn around with you and sit with it and see if it works. Rebecca is also helping me out by switching out some of these different colors, and I really like this palette I had going, but we couldn't, we just couldn't make it work. So here's a really cool trick when you're trying to pick out different contrasting colors. Change your phone to monochrome or black and white and you can see the value differences. So if you're going for a contrast, you'll be looking for more differences in the black and white. If you're wanting them to blend, you'll be looking for the same kind of tones when you turn to black and white. It's just super helpful in picking out your projects and one step you can do before actually knitting with the yarns together. After a couple hours, I had two palettes down, a brighter one and then a more neutral one, but I actually didn't end up with either one of these, but don't worry, I will show you the full thing in just a few minutes. McKinney and we spent a really long time <laughs> like how long were we there like three hours <laughs> but we got to see Rebecca you already saw her and we got some lunch and we did some other shopping and so now we're gonna show you what we got and I'm gonna let Brooke start because she got quite a few projects so what's your first one okay so my first one I got some really nice Malabrigo yarn in reflecting pool and I'm going to use all of these to make um, a lounging top by Hokey Locatelli. It's gonna be so pretty. I'm excited for that one. I've already made one of those tops and they're really fun. And then 
I bought some linen. Do you remember the name of the pattern? I think it's a staple top. Yeah, I think it's called maybe even the staple linen top. Yes. Potentially. I think that's also Hohi Lokatelli. And I think it's in this color too. Yes. Like a it similar is. color. It it's is not like the same a, yarn. a charcoal, but she uses the Petite Trico yarn in that Ooh. pattern. Did you know that this was made in Italy? I didn't. <laughs> that's cool. Going back to the old homeland. I know. That's so cool. And then, and this then one. my third one. So I bought some mohair and like a terracotta color and I'm going to pair it with this other like light fingering which is similar terracotta colored and what I'm going to try to do is make a color block sweater with this like buttercream as the top so hopefully that turns out well and it doesn't look too fast food like I think that this is going to tone it down so I think it's I hope so but if it doesn't if it doesn't work, you can just use it for something else. So. Exactly. Okay, so that's all the other things. And then we got yarn for our West Knits shawls, the slip stravaganza or slip stitch stravaganza. I don't know how to say it yet. I think it's slip stravaganza. Okay. Well, Brooke probably had like one combination and then like maybe one more and then found her final one. I had to go through like 18 different combinations before I could settle on something. So both of them are like perfect, I think, for us. So mm -hmm. let's actually just show them all together. They're very much our yarns. Oh. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> so us. Okay. So I went with a 75-25 base. So like sock yarn base. I have two different dyers, um, but I wanted it to be the same base because I was like really OCD about that. And then what about yours? I got the 80-10-10, the merino cashmere nylon blend. And all of mine were from Woolberry Fibers. Okay, they're so pretty and they look so good together. I'm so excited. And they look them. like you so much. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and share mine real quick since. <laughs> yes. Okay, so my. I am going for a light main color and it's this light uh, colored speckled. It's a little bit yellow. It's from Suburban Stitcher and it is the color sugar. I feel like when we walked in and um, Diane had a. What's it called? Trunk show. Trunk show. Yeah. And. This was like the first color that I saw that I really liked. And yeah, so that I just came back to the first one that caught my eye too. Yeah, and she had it paired with like in another project with a mohair and it was so beautiful. And so oh, I kind of yes. ended up back to where I wanted to go. Actually, why don't you show your main color and we'll just go through it like that. All right. <laughs> Here's my main color. I decided to go with a darker color. This one's called Endless Ocean. It looks very like hunter green-esque with maybe a little bit of like blue undertones. I'm really excited about it. I uh, I tend to knit a lot with greens. I love knitting with greens. Yeah, it looks so good. Okay, so I guess I'll go. I have another, yes, one more Suburban Stitcher. This is my like pop-up color. And this one is called Bang Bang. And it's definitely mostly like orange bright orange and like tangerine color and then mm -hmm. has like pink and purple and like hot pink in it and so this was really like drawing my eye. I didn't pair it with this right away um, but I had it in another like set of colors with with purple and stuff and I just I don't know it didn't quite work so then we found it would work in here. That one's so fun. And this one. My pop of color is this marigold again by Woodberry Fiber. Mm -hmm. um, I love this. I don't know that I've ever really knit with yellow, but I love how bold this is. So I think it'll go really nicely with these, with that like green one I'm using. Yeah. And that's really like gold. Yeah, it is. It is super gold, especially now that I see it in the sunlight. It's, it's quite gold. I like it. Yeah. It's really pretty. Okay. I think then now I have a dark, hard to see a darker um, contrast color and it also picks up like some of the hot pink and a little bit of purple that come out in this. So they kind of went together. Um, so there's four of them so far. I don't know, this is like completely different than when I started out what I thought I was gonna get. So it just kind of all, all ended up together. 
Yeah, My like medium one was this right here. This one's called Tuscan Sun. So there's definitely a very like peach undertone to it. There's some greens in there, some sort of like dark olive, even some splashes of like bright orange and bright yellow. So I think it's gonna pair really nicely with my main color. And then it also complements that first contrast color with that yellow that's in there. Yeah, yours like match so well. And I really like Brooks too, because she's got the main color that's solid and then all of her, well, not all of them, two of your um, contrast oh colors are like speckled. And I kind of ended up like all speckled on accident. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I forgot to say that this is long dog yarn. So my second two skeins are long dog yarn and this color is dark dimension. And then my last one, my lightest contrast is also from long dog yarn. And it's a Lady Almathia. Almathia? Almathia. Yeah, I don't know how to say that or what that is a reference to. But here are my colors. Let me arrange them all together. So I am I super interested because we know this is probably a slip stitch pattern since it's slip stravaganza. So I'm hoping that all of this really looks good and that black and white trick for like the photos is what kind of helped us decide um on the final results yes. and then my final one here is called redwood forest so there's a lot of these like hunter greens in there some pops of like orange and yellow uh, i very mine ended up being very like autumnal which I'm super excited about because I do a lot of earthy tones, but I think these ones look really nice together. And I'm excited to see how it looks in shawl form. Oh my Lots gosh. of slip stitches. So now, okay, let's hold them up one more time. Now we just have to wait until October 9th. Mm, are you gonna do a swatch? Yeah, no, I'm not going to. Probably not. <laughs> I'm not a big swatch person. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna like hope for the best and like when we actually knit the shawl that these all work together because I love them all individually. Yours are definitely, like you're 100%. I think yours are gonna go fabulously together. I'm excited. We can always use our little kaleidoscopes that we have. Oh my gosh, yeah. We have basically a, basically a kaleidoscope that you can like blend colors together. It's very fun. It is fun. You use it all the time. Do you really? Yeah, I use it all the time. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. And this was brought to you because it was suggested by you. So if you ever have a fun or interesting video that you wanna to pitch to me, let me know, cause all of the best ideas really do come from you. All right, thanks so much for watching and I will see you on Thursday with a brand new podcast.